So I met Jeff Coffin when he was on tour with Bale Fleck and the Fleck Tones back when I was in college. And that's also when I was just starting to write my own music for, you know, what would later become the Fourth Isha. And uh, I was working on my first album and I had met Jeff Coffin a few times. And so for some reason I had the courage, I guess you call it, to reach out to Jeff Coffin to see if he wanted to be on my album. And so Jeff Coffin, he's, he's very nurturing and everything. So he said, sure, um, yeah, just send me the music. It'll cost X amount of dollars. And um, yeah, and, and we'll, we'll do it. So, you know, I was trying to be very professional and all, so I sent him the money up front, uh, 100% of what he asked for, I sent him the money, and then I wrote the piece of music that I had in my head. I got my friends together in the studio, and I sent them the music ahead of time, and um, get to the studio, and even though these are friends of mine, uh, they didn't take the music seriously, so they didn't prepare. So they showed up to the studio session, uh, still learning the licks and still learning the chords and still learning the form. And uh, so needless to say, the recording session didn't go that well. And so what I tried to do is I tried to edit it all together to, you know, fix it and make it sound great. And um, so I thought it sounded good enough and I sent it to Jeff Coffin didn't hear back one day, didn't hear back two days, three days, four days, maybe five days later, Jeff finally gets back to me and he says, man, I can't put my name on this. He says, you know, you really have to put your best foot forward on everything that you do. He's like, I, I think that you're, he basically said that he thinks that I'm doing good work and that he could tell that I'm putting a good effort forward, but he, he specifically mentioned that the people that I got to be on this project, they weren't putting forth the effort. And so, uh, so he said, man, I can't put my name on this and I'm gonna, I'll give you a hundred percent refund, give you your money back. And, um, I was completely crushed. I just thought that, all right, my career is done. You know, Jeff Coffin doesn't want to be on my album and all these things. Um, but he really instilled in me with a great example. He said, man, you really got to put your best foot forward. And he, he recognized that that wasn't the best that I can do. And so, um, so Yes, I was crushed for a couple of days, but then um, for, on my next album, I made sure to get the best engineers and the best studios and the best musicians I could um, and practice and rehearse and get everything perfectly great, as great as I can get it together. So then I tried again. I sent that to Jeff Coffin saying, hey man, I'm working on another, another album. Maybe you can be on this one. Send them the music. And the email I got back this time, instead of being like, you can do better, it was like, okay, cool. So on the A section, you want me to play soprano sax or tenor sax? And do you want me to play this here? Do you want me to solo here? And then instantly like that, now we're working together. So <laughs> um, that was a, a big life lesson for me. And that's something that I think about in everything that I do in any moment. I always try to make sure that it's the best that it can be. Um, I take the time to, 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 to make sure I'm putting my best foot forward. So put your best foot forward.